Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution. Last time when we left off, we were standing in the entrance to the old Noodle Factory, the bonus mission that comes with the DLC, so let's get started. I don't know how long it will be until you guys see this, but as I'm recording it, it's Batman Day. It's about, oh, quarter till nine in the morning, and... Starting at 6 o'clock tonight, I'm going to one of the trilogy marathons. I'm watching Batman Begins, then The Dark Knight, and then The Dark Knight Rises. And I am excited, I'll tell you what. Anyway, I haven't played this mission before, because I didn't pre-order the game. Anyway, there are your pre-order bonuses right there. Four automatic unlocking devices. Let's creep on down here. Looks like we got 11 bad guys. So we got a couple of chatters over there. Dang it, I was hoping I could pull their uh, the patroller. over into this hallway with his friend. I've got a possible visual. Get over there and confirm it. Hello? If anyone is hiding here, go on, go! go. Oops. Oh, my mind is running a little bit slow. I just... You know that time period every morning when you're technically awake, but your brain hasn't really kick-started itself yet? That's where I am. No, it would work just fine if I could do it the other way.
I thought for sure that'd be enough to let the patroller see me and come over here. But it wasn't. I just don't think I could move both bodies fast enough before he decides to turn around. But I have to admit that if I could, then having seen that the other guy turns and faces this hallway, that'd be much easier. Need to wait for one more cycle, which is fine. I can move fast enough, I just need to be more careful. Shoot. That never seems to go smoothly, does it? Yeah, no, there's just not enough time. I gotta get the patrollers first. Or, you know, alternatively, if I could get one of the standing guys far enough into this hallway, that would work too.
If anyone is hiding here, you better come out. Damn, there I thought I was about to have it. I've got a possible visual. Hello? If anyone is hiding here, you'd better come out. Sounds like you're chasing after ghosts again. There we go. Good night, gentlemen. Go, 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 oh, go. man. Alright, one more try. I've got a possible visual. Soldiers got nothing, sneakers got five machine pistol bullets. This time, I'm gonna be a bit more careful. Although with this arrangement, I can just go through this hallway and get them and that'll be much easier. That leaves nine guys. So this'll leave seven. That soldier's got seven shotgun cartridges. This sneaker's got nothing. What's over here? Nothing. I say we pull the other two over there for now. And we celebrate with a quick save. Four guys down, seven to go. I don't want to change levels just yet. Lasers there. Over here we got gas. Say so we try the gas first. Well, let's see what's behind here. Oh, just another tunnel where I can shut off the gas, which. Yeah, that's fine. I could also just leave the gas going since I have the implanted rebreather, but I'll shut it off. I just I like disarming their traps. It seems more thorough to me. Okay, there's a guy right on the other side of that wall. Here's a hackable door. Let's hack this. Access granted. 250 XP, 300 credits, plus 50 XP for the hack. Okay, 
This guy's in here by himself. That's never good. On the desk next to him, grenade launcher ammo. I don't think I've seen that either. That might be an explosive mission pack exclusive. Let's check that out. 40 by 46 meter HE grenade cartridges. Description, Kaiga's 40 by 46 millimeter high explosive ballistic shot grenade munitions for deployment in anti-personnel actions and against armored targets can be used with the G87 grenade launcher. Manufacturer, Kaiga LTD. Well, that's cool. Don't actually need it. Okay, what's through here? Big empty room. Bet this one heads out to the lasers. It does. Is there a terminal to disarm these anywhere? Doesn't look like it. Oh, yeah, I can turn them off. It's just I can't hack anything to do it. Here's a level one alarm panel. That's something. Access granted. 100 XP, stop worm, 25 for the base hack. That's nice. Cyberboost Pro Energy Bar on the table. Two boxes of tranquilizer darts. Two more Cyberboost Pro Energy Bars on that table. There's the guard. Machine pistol, machine pistol with ammo. Vodka. All right, let's do this door. It's like a bathroom, but there's a vent here. I think I'm back in fairly familiar territory. Well, let's go see what was the other direction in the guard quarters, because there's still... There's another guard somewhere on this level. I haven't spotted him yet. This looks like a noodle factory. I'll, I'll give him that at least. Now the big question is whether or not he'll come through this door. If he will, then we can pull him to the guard in the chair. We'll find out soon. He will not come through the door. Okay. Well, maybe we can knock him down to the lower Fires. level of the factory. No we'll go ahead and do a single takedown on this gentleman. We might even we might not even have to knock him. We might be able to pull him down to the lower level somehow. We'll find out. Anyway, that leaves six guards left.
I usually prefer to check out the upper level first. I'm gonna try to stick with that here. Not that there seems to be much going on besides the guard. There's not. Let's get down to the lower level. I guess we need to start dealing with dudes at some point. Although I'd like to know, I'd like to know where the other route would bring us, you know, the sewer entrance. Maybe I should deal with all these guys first. say there's definitely another way in. It might be easier if I just went back upstairs and then came through the sewers to s see about that path. I think I'll do that. Okay. This was one of the most patrolled areas, so maybe this is the easier way in. Who knows? Can't be all. way is closed to us. If we don't want to kill that man. Well, at least now we know. to give some serious thought to how to pair these guys. I 
I want to pull the upstairs guy down for one, the hallway down for the, the, the wall leaner down for the other, and then the two in the corner go together. Get over there and confirm it. All right. The upstairs guy has spotted me. Let's see if he'll come downstairs. On his own. That'd be a lot easier than having to knock him down or move him gradually or anything like that. Oh good, he will come down. That should make Hello? this a little easier. If anyone is hiding here, you better come out. You're going down! Oh damn. I thought I was about to have it, and I was so excited. That time I hit the typhoon button instead of instead of cloak. That's what happens when you play when you're still a little sleepy. You hear someone jumping around over there? I, I, I knew that wasn't going to work. I should have known anyway. Sounds like trouble. Hmm. Goodness. These crowded rooms are always a problem. Relax! No one's here. You hear someone jumping around over there? Go see what Who's there? Now they're trigger happy. I gotta say. Relax! No one's here. Do you hear footsteps? Yeah, sound like some running over there. You hear someone jumping around over there? Go see what's going on. There. 
Not good enough, Jensen. Not good enough. Relax. Sounds like trouble. Why are they going hostile right away? I don't understand it. I haven't tripped any kind Relax. of alerts. No one's here. You hear someone jumping around up there? Go see what's going on. Over there! Yeah, that guy's leaping straight to hostile mode. No matter what. Straight to hostile. Hmm. Maybe I should let him get back upstairs and take it easy. No one's here. You hear someone jumping around over there? Go see what's going on. See, what I've done here is block him downstairs. He won't go back to his patrol route until this box is moved. He just, that one just goes straight to hostile, no matter what. That's a bother. For sure. I didn't want him to be the one who moved. I liked him where he was standing. You hear someone jumping around up there? You hear someone jumping around up there? Really? You're not gonna come check it out.
Okay, somebody saw me there. Unfortunately, let's put a cloak on, then do this. You hear someone jumping around over there? Now he's gonna go there and he's gonna stay put since I blocked his route back upstairs. I'm hopeful will finally give me the time I need to stash these bodies. Alright, how am I doing on nutrients? I have one jar and five bars. That's not very much. So 20 machine pistol bullets, 250 credits, and 10 more machine pistol bullets. Alright, I say we get the back two guys next. One looks like he just sits here, so. Let's see if we can't get the other one to come in. Need to open the door myself. The door open, but no one came through. Yeah, that makes no sense. Let me see who it is. Got him. Who the hell is that? All right, let's get the back door open or the door open, then let that settle. something like that was going to happen, the way he kept twitching, working his way around the chair. Dumb. Everybody see me all of a sudden. Go, who the hell Forgot to cloak. Oh 
my gosh. Maybe I shouldn't do these guys first. That must be a young Tracer Tong, who I hadn't seen until now, since I, you know, haven't played this game. Let's avoid triggering any alarms. Who's there? Hello? If anyone is hiding here, you better come out. Goodness. We're talking about Eliza Cassan's Frank interview. Dang it, I was hoping there was going to be something in here that I could put onto his spot to freeze him. not going to come through the door, is he? What a waste of time. Get over there and confirm it. I heard that. Come out. Hello. If anyone's hiding here, you'd better come out. Sounds like you're chasing after ghosts again. You hear someone jumping around? Take no one!
Interesting. Shut off those damn cameras. Access granted. Not going to open the door just yet, though. Let's see if the heavy will come through the door or not. He will not. Oh my gosh, now he's going straight to hostile. Great. I guess that just means I have to lure him with noise. You hear someone jumping around up there? Go see what's going on. I heard that. Come out. I can't get him to move. I heard that. Come out. There he comes. I'd rather not use my only jar just now, but... At least I figured out I can still get him to move. That's important. I heard that. Come out. Okay, well with the crate in the door, he's not moving back, which is an important step.
I heard that. Come out. Okay, before we take a break... I think it came from around here. We're talking about Eliza Kazan's frank interview with Zhao Yun There he is. I heard that. Come out. In spite of how hard the to certified male demographic might think she is, she should be destroyed. It's not a coincidence. It's just a little thing. There's a lot of whispers, of course. What a waste of time. Listen, I'm putting a request to have Liza sit down with me so I can ask her who's really behind the curtain over the mic. Yeah, right. Did you hear footsteps? Looks clear. I've got a possible visual. You gonna come through the door? No. It's actually okay. Looks clear. Hello. If anyone's hiding here, you'd better come out. Sounds like you're chasing after ghosts again. Responding. Okay. Well, I need to get him out from behind the door. That was an unforeseen consequence. No need to report a shadow, I guess. There's someone jumping around over there. They can keep around here. You see anything? Get him out from behind the door. Easy, it was nothing. Perfect. Ah. 
Yes! Okay, the heavy's got heavy rifle ammo. Let's drag him back here. The ogre, I guess. This soldier's got nothing. Just fine. Now, uh, let's think about the last two. So that I've got four bars in one jar with which to handle them. I can go get that crate back now. I think a big part of what I need to do is pull the one guy out of the office. That's not going to work. Yeah, you know, I might need to just do this a little more directly. Let's map this one. move it somewhere handy, like right here. Now let's pull the guy out of the office. You hear someone jumping around over there? I don't see how anyone saw me just then. I guess they did. That was a lot simpler than I thought it'd be. Alright, soldiers got eight shotgun cartridges. The other sneakers got an EMP grenade. There's a vent up here. I'd like to see where that goes. Since I didn't spot it. Alright, that's all the bad guys. Oh, there it is. 
now let's poke around the factory floor for loot. Since everyone's dealt with. Well, we've got a Pep's energy pack. I'm not seeing much else. Over here, there's a concussion grenade. Alright, let's head into that office. And check things out here. On the desk, we have 1,200 credits. There's another automatic unlocking device. Let's hack the other alarm panel. Stopworm, 100 Access XP, grid. 25 XP. Let's check the computer. From encrypted to encrypted. Reply, retreat and reveille. Solid copy on sitrep. Negative on relocation. Informant is missing key intel. Singapore just delivered shiny new carrot to Harvester Hideout. Crew most likely rushing over to inspect the goods. Wouldn't be surprised if next time we see him, Tong Sr. is sporting a new arm. Super 6 actual. Super 6 actual. Tong's crew... <coughs> <coughs> Tong's crew gathering in mass. Informant suspects op location compromised. VIP remains priority. Advise withdrawal and regroup. Super 6 zero. From encrypted to encrypted, reply our special guest. Negative on escalated authority, Super 60. Mission directive calls for careful management of VIP to avoid political ramifications. No complications. We know he is a pain in the ass, but you have to take it easy on him. Think of him as a political prisoner. We mishandle this, and there will be war in the streets. Guaranteed. Super 6 Niner. Super 6 Niner, P VIP secure. Remains royal, P-I-T-A. Super 6 Bravo nearly shot him over request for soda. Advise VIP quarantine and escalation of authority, Super 6 Zero. All right. Now let's head back here. There's Tracer, the only, the only character who, manage, who has managed to appear in all three games. Even if you don't have the DLC, he makes a brief appearance. Let's unlock the door, or open his door now. I'm gonna go ahead and punch through this wall. Just to have the route open. And let's go rescue Tracer. Apparently he likes toast. Stop worm, nuke virus, Tong's son. You Tong's kid. So my mother keeps telling me, but you are neither bell tower nor Chinese. Am I to assume my honored father is covering his back by sending you in to spring me instead of his harvesters? Wise assumption. Let's get out of here. I don't think so. Last time I checked, bell tower had a lot of firepower out there. I'm not willing to risk my neck on the unlikely possibility that you neutralized all of it. No offense, American. None taken. I wasn't crazy about the odds myself, but when I questioned it, I was told to give you this. Well, well. <laughs> Way to go, father. This changes everything. Assuming they reassembled it correctly. You ready to go? About kidnapping. Tell me something first. How the hell was Bell Tower able to nab you? Whatever do you mean? Come on, kid. I may not be 100% up on the triads, but I'm betting your dad's not far from becoming a dragon head. I find it highly unlikely that the local authorities could just waltz in and take off with his son. Under normal circumstances, you would be right. But in this case, I'm the one who waltzed over to them. You volunteered to be kidnapped? Why? Let's just say, my father and I do not share the same love of augmentations. I find them dangerous and not something our family should be putting so much trust in. But father expects me to... How do you say it? Follow in his footprints? So a change of scenery is required. I'm not following you. Tong Si Hong would never willingly allow his only son to leave his side. 
I needed a way to convince him that I had to leave Hangsha immediately. So you orchestrated the kidnapping. You're playing with fire, kid. By pitting the Triads against Bell Tower, you've put the entire population of Lower Hangsha at risk. That... may be true. But you are here to rescue me, aren't you? So my plan seems to be working this far. Right. And sometimes the more power you think you have, the more quickly it slips from your grasp. I will... try to remember that, American. Are you ready to go now? Oh, apparently, Tracer rem does remember that quote from Jensen, because it's something he uses in the original game, if you remember, about device. I'd feel a lot more confident about things if I knew what the device was, and exactly what you intend to do with it. You mean they didn't tell you? <laughs> Not surprising, I suppose, given how much Father enjoys his little secrets. I assume you've noticed how his harvesters like to repurpose existing technology? If you mean steal it from other people and sell it to new customers, then yeah, I noticed. Not necessarily a practice I approve of, but not everything gets resold. Sometimes it is taken apart and reassembled into something more useful. A handheld version, for instance, that doesn't need to be implanted in the human body to work. You're still not telling me what that thing is. Easier if I just show you. So. Shall we leave? All right, let's go. Yeah, but stick close. Your father and I have some unfinished business to take care of, and it all goes to shit if I don't get you back to him in one piece. Don't worry about that. I'll make sure father sticks to his promise. Maybe even get him to throw in a little extra. But as grateful as I am for your assistance, from here on in, it's every man for himself. See you later. All right, getting things done, a thousand. Ghost, 500. Smooth operator, 250. That's what I like to see. So the new goal is... Oh, I never read Rescue Tong Sung, Sun, did I? According to my Harvester contact, heavily augmented Bell Tower warriors are holding Tong Sun inside the basement of an abandoned noodle factory. I've got to infiltrate the prison and free him. New goal, meet Tong in the Harvester hideout. Tong Jr. is free and says he'll make it out on it, make it home on his own. I hope he's right, but either way, Tong Sr. needs to hold up his end of our bargain. Time to head back to the Yutsao district. Fair enough. Let's get out of here. Whoa. Sorry about that. I don't really know why that happened. The screen just minimized for a second. But no harm done. Anyway, even though it's a very brief appearance, I have to say Tong's character in this prequel is much more consistent with his character in the first game than... the version that appeared in Invisible War. I mean, here he's young and he hasn't learned to be careful and hasn't learned about the consequences of his actions yet, but he's still hesitant to use augmentations and all that good business. I do like that Jensen gave him a quote that he turns around and uses on JC 27 years from now. Anyway, let's just head back to the Yutsao district. Back to the Yutsao district. I think this is our last time through Lower Hengsha, by the way, so... Enjoy it, and say goodbye. As we go from the Harvester hideout to the Bell Tower port, and then... It's a pretty straight shot from there to the end of the game. Do I have any Praxis right now? No. All that's left is the Stealth Enhancer and the hacking analyze add-on both of which are completely useless but 
I think I'll turn on the stealth enhancer first. I think I already said that. I don't know. Doesn't much matter. Let's get out of here. Now, when we turn in this quest, the final two harvesters appear in the harvester hideout, I believe. That we can still take down for experience, I should say. Well, let's head back in there. the sight of so much effort for an extra 25 XP. <laughs> How am I doing? We need a total of 235,000 to turn on every augmentation. I think we're going to hit that pretty easy by the end of the game. Let's go chat with Tong. You have talent, Jensen. You ever need a job, you tell me. I'll hook you up. I take it the kid made it back in one piece. He says I owe you a weapon. I always repay my debts. With interest. Let's accept. That's one debt paid. Now tell me what you know. Bell Tower keeps two ships in port. They think nobody notices, but I keep an eye. Every couple of days, one of them loads up in the middle of the night and sails out. Heading where? A wise man doesn't ask. I just know the Heizen Su pulls out tonight. And where she make port, I bet you find your scientists. That's a whole lot of maybe, Tong. True. But maybe you lucky more times than I can count. Bell Tower runs tight security. How do you expect me to get on their ship? One of my boys will leave a package inside a locker for you in an equipment shed. You find it, we talk, and I tell you what to do next. I'll be waiting with bated breath, I'm sure. All right. <clears throat> Meet Tong in the Harvester hideout. That gave me 250 XP and a new Praxis point, which I'll save, so because turning on the stealth enhancer still takes two. Now, this is tied to the explosive mission pack, so I'm not going to hold on to it, but let's examine it right quick. Grenade launcher, linebacker G87 MSGL multiple shot grenade launcher, pre-order exclusive. Use high damage lethal long range weapon with an area of effect. Very effective against most targets, although augmented individuals and robots may require a few hits before they go down. Description. The G87 is a multi-shot shoulder-arm low-velocity grenade launcher with a gravity-fed magazine containing six 40 by 46 millimeter high-explosive grenade cartridges. The weapon delivers impact detonation rounds over a ballistic arc to the objective point. Designed for military use against enemy personnel or armored targets, the linebacker operates as a powerful force multiplier for any small offensive troop unit. Upgrades. The G87 supports rate of fire and reload speed upgrades. However, it isn't compatible with sound suppressors or laser targeting system add-ons. Manufacturer Steiner Bisley GmbH. Rate of fire 2 out of 10 can be upgraded to 4. Reload speed 2 out of 10 can upgrade to 4. Damage output 10 out of 10. Ammo capacity 2 out of 10 unupgradable. Anyway, let's drop it too. I don't think I ever uh, checked out the upgrades on the laser rifle. Rate of fire, 10 out of 10. Reload speed, 1 out of 10 can upgrade to 4. Damage output, 8 out of 10 can... 7 out of 10 can upgrade to 10. Ammo capacity, 6 out of 10 can upgrade to 10. Anyway, with all that done, let's look at my new goal. M4, stowing away. Primary objectives, get inside Bell Tower's port. Bell Tower Associates is up to their ears in this. 
Tong says they have a heavily guarded port in Hangsha. If I can get past its front gate, I should be one step closer to finding Megan and her team. Follow the sewers to the port. Easiest way to get in there undetected. Find that package we planted, because without it, you have no chance. It's in an equipment ship. You want to catch that ship and find your scientists? You better get moving. You want to catch that ship and find your scientists? Alright. Let's get these two harvesters that have spawned in. Oh, I think they're suffering from the glitch. I should be able to pull these guys together for it. My bodies have disappeared again, but... <clears throat> I just need to find a quick way to pull these two together. They are the last ones. Quick save for some reason. There we go. Well, that didn't work. Not like I would have liked. Hmm. Come on, guys. I was hoping that concussion grenade might pull them together, but that didn't do it either. Well, obviously I need to move fast. Because they aren't going to be right together like that for long. Hoping I could at least stop him from going toward that bed. They still aren't close enough together, are they? No. <sighs> the AI in here is just so weird. That's the problem. I guess the machine pistol's not really doing me any good. Something strange is going on here. There we go. <laughs> One concussion grenade, price of admission. There we go, 125 XP. 
and nothing on either body. Anyway, with that done, the harvester hideout is finally completely clear. Oh, uh, and the sewer entrance I need to go through is down here somewhere. Should have remembered that. I think it's over here. Yes, here it is. Alright. Say goodbye to Hengshaw. Let's enter the sewers. Well, we can still we can still go back to the hub if we want to, but I'm going to call that a video. So, that was the old Noodle Factory, the DLC mission. Next time, we'll tackle the Bell Tower dock. Until then, this has been Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.